up everyone? This is my computer. And today we're going to be installing this EVGA 750 watt power supply inside there to replace the Thermaltake TR2 500 watt. So I'm getting an extra 250 watts if my math is correct. Hopefully it is. First step is always to tip it on its side and remove these four screws holding in. I'll do that off camera because it'll take a while. Okay guys, I'm gonna move the camera a bit closer. And there it is. So first step, of course, disconnect all connections to the two parts of the computer. Another thing, of course, you gotta take off the other side panel. Hang on. I almost forgot that my computer has two side panels. And that is a 3D object, so of course it does. Well, some computers don't have two side panels. So, guess why I said it correct. Yeah, I've seen computers with only one side panel. Yours might actually have only one side panel if it's an older desktop. Or even a pre-built desktop. But this is custom built, so of course it's going to have two side panels. So you can work on that cable management. Okay, a lot of... Yeah... Right. Um, so, of course, I'll need small scissors to cut those zip ties that I've been using to hold them in place, and I'll need to replace those. This might be the last time I upgrade the power supply. Oh, I hope I don't snip any, ca any uh, cables that I actually need. whilst snipping these zip ties off. I think I'm good. All right, so, um, sorry, you can't see much here. Lower the camera and position it here, like so. And I'm gonna disconnect my CPU power, eight pin. I'll pop out the back. So that's gone. Now I'm gonna disconnect the 24 pin motherboard power. Let's see, yeah. Yeah, that's, I think, 24 pins. Leave that there for the. Yeah, the next thing is the. I'm actually going to spin the computer around because the rest of the things I need to disconnect are on the back side of it. Mm. Feels much lighter without the glass. Alright, here we are behind the computer. And there's my mess of power cables back here. It's quite disappointing, I know. So I'm going to disconnect. Um, I believe that's for my RGB LEDs. This is for my fan power. And I should have one more that I need to disconnect. Hey, one. Hold up. Hold up. It's a Molex. There it is. Actually, two to disconnect. I don't know where that other Molex came from. Oh, wait. That's for my front panel lighting. Okay. Ooh. Okay, disconnected. Now I just need to sort out all the cables, and there's a lot of them. Okay, I believe it can be removed now. Now there are four screws on the back. I'll show you there. That's the back of the computer. There are four screws, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna remove them. Save those, you'll need them.
or you could use the screws that are included. Now, slide the old power supply out. Here it is. It's actually much lighter. Probably because there's less stuff in there. <clears throat> Look at how hideous those cables are. Look at that. All right, so I'm putting this one aside and bringing out the new one. Flip it off because I don't want it to be on whilst do it. So you just slide it in like how you slid the old one out. And now line up the screw holes with the the holes on the case. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna install it. Probably yeah, off camera because it's quite difficult to do it whilst uh, the camera's recording you because you're gonna you're gonna mess up a lot. So I'll just redo what I did, just like in the reverse order of what I did on the old power supply. I'll get back to you in a couple minutes. It's installed and now it's time to hook up everything back to this uh, power supply, which will take a, quite a bit. PC, you don't need that. So the first one I wanna do is the biggest thick cable, spelled with two C's, all right? Um, Hang on, let me just check something else. Yeah, it doesn't have one. Okay, right. It would be this, the 24 pin uh, motherboard power cable. So, uh, let's see. Go like this. So now, um, the next cable I'd like to install is the CPU power cable, which is pretty much, uh, well, important and required. Well, for most builds, at least. So, here we go. I'm gonna route that up here. Then I'll connect it. I like squeeze back there. It's a tight squeeze back there. Okay, I did it. Okay, now I just gotta get the cable in and worked out. All right, next one that we're gonna connect is don't have a GPU in this computer. Molex, we have three, that's just enough. Although I know you can extend them, I don't like doing that. Okay, here's our mess of cables here. First Molex as well for a display power brick. Actually for our RGB power brick. Why did I say display power brick? That would be outside a computer. Next one. Is another RGB power brick. Alright, that's connected now. Last one, 
but definitely not least, is the front LED power grid, power uh, supply. Yeah, hang on. Fix it. Now, finally, but definitely, last but definitely not least, is my uh, fan power. So, this is actually what controls all the fans on this build, which are quite important when you want to keep your build ice cold. Now, just gotta cram all these cables back in here. It looks good now. Everything looks in, to be still working. Now I just gotta work on the cable management on this side. So uh, I'll do that off camera and I'll show you the final build. All right. Thanks. For, uh, wait, not thanks for watching yet. Uh, yeah, so I'll do it off camera, fix up all the cable management, and I'll get back to you. Okay, guys, I'm done with the computer. Uh, how does it look? I think it looks great. Uh, yeah, everything looks kind of basic. Everything's actually hidden underneath there, and that giant red colored strip here is gone because now it's black colored. It looks like it says 50 watts, but actually 750 watts. So yeah, there it is. It really conveys that black and white theme inside this computer, as you can see. All right, so I'm gonna bring this back to the table and we'll fire it up. So I forgot to do a follow-up video on how my power supply is working. And as you can see, it's working fine. It turns on, that's all I need to do. There you go, 750 watts. Um, it's working, that, that's a good, that's good news. So yeah, um, I'm just telling you, it works, it's good value, I'd say. Uh, and yeah, there you go, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, all I need to tell you is it works, and thanks for watching, hit the subscribe button, which is over there, and like button, which is also somewhere there, and, uh, yes, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.